Hey guys, it's Andrew back to my channel. Today, I am going to be doing my review on the f finale, or like season finale of My Teenage Girl. Um, for those of you who don't know or are new to my channel, I did a couple of reactions here and there on my uh, channel um, for some of the performances. Uh, when I first checked out the full, like, um, performance video of I guess like the theme song or like the main song of the show um then later on I ended up getting into actually watching the show with my mom and um it just started getting really good so then I started posting reaction videos of some of the separate performances that they had and um some people have been like watching them off of my channel and everything and I figured why not do like a kind of like a review slash like my own sharing my own thoughts of the final lineup and everything so um I hope you guys enjoy this video and um yeah so let's start all right so for the finale um let's just I'm just gonna kind of give off my thoughts of the final lineup first and then I'll probably talk about the members or the girls that did not make into the final lineup so um the first girl I'm gonna talk about is Pyeongso um which I think that she definitely I think she did a really good job um I personally didn't think that she was anything crazy but I didn't think she was that bad either or anything I thought she was a very good um singer and vocalist so um you know and plus I'm pretty sure she was in um Busters uh beforehand I think I saw something or read something that she was in Busters before like going on to the show and um that honestly surprised me because she did not I did not recognize her and I actually did follow Busters for a little bit so I must have gotten into them after she left so because I don't like recognize her like at all but um you know I think that she definitely um deserved to be in the lineup um and I don't know, she's just a very good, like, strong vocalist and everything. Every single time uh, she performed with, like, you know, uh, like other um, girls on the other performances, she was always in the vocal um, category, which made sense because, you know, she is a very strong singer. So, um, yeah, I and I think her ranking was pretty good. Um, rank three, I think, was was her rank. Um, so that was pretty impressive of her, honestly. So good for her. But yeah, so that was my uh, kind of like thoughts on her. So next up is Chaewon. Now, Chaewon, I'm gonna be honest. Definitely think she should have been ranked higher. I keep, I'm, I was honestly shocked when they were because the way that they were announcing the final lineup, it was very weird. They did. Um, like, what, like, six, then, like, I don't know, they were, like, going back and forth. They were very weird with how they were announcing all the different ranks, um, and final placings. But, honestly, Chaewon really surprised me that she ended up getting, like, the last spot, like, seventh. Um, I thought that she definitely deserved to be uh, up higher on top because of how strong of a singer she was and everything. And I felt like a lot of people actually liked her, so I'm kind of surprised that she got that low of a ranking, um, especially compared to some of the other girls that made it into the final lineup. Not saying that like the other girls didn't deserve to be up high, but I was just kind of surprised because I thought that a lot of people really liked Chaewon. Um, so I don't know how, what that was about. But she made it into the final lineup, so that was like a big thing for me, and um, I'm honestly happy that they didn't like just like shaft her and just like just have her not make it. So I was getting kind of nervous, not gonna lie, when her name was not getting called. But yeah, so she made it. So yeah. Up next is Heiju, and um, I'm honestly happy. I I'm gonna be honest with you. Towards the beginning of watching the show. I did not know that she was in the show. Like, I feel bad for saying that, but I did not um, remember her or really looked at her or anything or thought that she stood out. And apparently, she definitely had had to have been struggling um, because when she ended up versing, I can't remember who she versed, um, uh, but whoever she ended up versing to get into the like debut team. Um, that honestly was, was when I kind of noticed her and everything and um, honestly good for her for making it into the final lineup. I think um, 
her ranking was pretty decent, rank 4, I'm pretty sure, so, um, you know, just, her story was kind of like an underdog story, you know, like, she was getting, like, not the best rankings, and then she just ended up doing really well, and I think that that's a really good, um, I think that's really good for her, so good for her, and, um, I'm happy that she made it into the final lineup. The next, uh, member is Liwan, her rank was number five, and, um, I don't know, I was kind of surprised that she made it, um, uh, I don't know what to say, because I definitely knew that she was gonna be in the final because I could tell some people liked her at least from what I was seeing online and I don't know I she was and I think she was pretty decent overall um but kind of surprised that she didn't make it a couple of the members I will say ahead of time I'm really surprised made it into the final lineup um as well as some of the members that didn't make it into the final li lineup I'm surprised that they didn't rank higher but um yeah, Lee Wan was definitely one of those cases. Um, I don't know, I didn't think that she was like any, like terrible or anything. I just didn't think that she was going to make it for some reason. I don't know if it was because that she was younger or anything, but for some reason, a lot of people liked to have like liked a lot of the younger girls because the line final lineup like a lot of the members are pretty, pretty young, so that was pretty surprising, but, um, yeah, so that was my thoughts on her. Alright, so the next member that I'm gonna be talking about is Jimin, who ended up ranking number one. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest, I did not see this one coming. I did not know that she was even gonna make it. I didn't think she was even gonna make it into the, uh, top seven, um, so... For her, it really shocked me. I definitely did not think she was gonna even place in the final lineup, let alone get first, in my opinion. That's just what I think. Um, I don't know, for any of you guys that are huge, like, Jimin fan, uh, fans, um, you guys, you know, you, you know, let me know if I was, like, missing something, if I didn't see certain things, but I just didn't think she was gonna make it personally. I, um, you know, I'm not saying that I think that she didn't deserve first, I'm just, I'm surprised with all of the other girls that were, all of the 14 girls that were in the, like, final, I'm surprised that she got first. It kind of surprised me, not gonna lie, but, um, but now since they've been performing a surprise on live music shows and everything, um, I can see how she stands out and how she's like number one and everything. But at the time, I can def I was definitely just like kind of shocked. Um, but you know, it's you know now I can kind of see it. So I'm definitely changed like my perspective of seeing it, I guess. But yeah. All right. So the next member that I'm gonna be talking about is uh, Bowen. Um, I was surprised uh, when they were performing uh, the like final songs that she got like first in like I think first and second I'm pretty sure for the voting or maybe she got first and first I can't remember but she did really well in the vote in like the voting and rankings for the performances and I honestly didn't like I you know it's it's hard for me to tell because I only pay attention to like certain girls within the show and then I just kind of focus on them for the most part so um that's why I'm I'm just kind of saying like how I'm surprised but I was really surprised that she got high rankings and and you know I it's you know it was just like a show I was just watching it's not like I was actually like looking at all the voting rankings and everything constantly so I don't know maybe she was doing really good at the time and I just didn't know about it but kind of surprised me how she was getting so many votes but then when she ended up getting six that kind of surprised me too because i'm like she got all these like votes from the performances and then she just gets six like i don't know it just didn't really make sense to me if anything i thought that she would have gotten first but i mean you know it's like i don't know it was just kind of weird but i definitely knew that she was gonna make it because a lot because uh, I feel like a lot of people were hyping her up in the final, like the fan, fan wise, I feel like a lot of people were hyping her up, so I was like, she's definitely gonna make it, but I'm just kind of, you know, shocked that she got six, you know, but, you know, yeah. Alright, and then the last member that made it into the final lineup is my girl, Sonyu. Now, Sonyu, for those of you who don't know, um, I 
definitely is she's definitely my favorite girl of the entire show um i don't know something just like stood out like she just stood out to me uh when they ended up like getting into the grade ones and everything because i started the show i think on episode four or five so um i didn't really see much of grade one until they actually started to perform and grade one you know even though they're super super young they could perform like they were like crazy in my opinion i thought that grades four and one were the best grades um because grade one, they were just super powerful and crazy with their performances, and then grade four, they were very mature, and they you could tell that they that you that they knew what they were doing and everything. So that's why those two grades specifically stood out to me and to my mom, because my mom said that she didn't really like like grades two or three, like she didn't really think they were that um, like like crazy. She wasn't that crazy about them, and I kind of felt the same way too. Um, it was just like certain like girls within the grade not like the grades overall but um yeah Sonia definitely happy and I was definitely rooting for her I was actually voting for her and you know um I was honestly surprised that she got that high up like rank two I did not think that she was gonna get that high up but um you know I'm obviously happy and um just it's crazy how she, how like young she is both her and Bowen how young they both are and how they were able to just make it into the group it's just it's just crazy to me but yeah so that was my kind of thoughts and just review on the final lineup um now let me talk about some of the girls that didn't make it into the lineup but were in the final okay so the first girl that I'm gonna talk about is Mihi now I'm a huge boy with Bodo Pass fan um, when they first debuted I was obsessed with the song and I don't know it was just like a very catchy song and everything but with if for those of you who don't know Bodo Pass look them up um, you'll know that there's some drama going that there was some drama and some like scandals going on with the group um, not necessarily the group itself but members in the group since some of the members were from a previous pro group I don't want to get too much into that but and then just the way that the company um, at the time companies but now I think it's just company um, we're handling it and you know they it's they debuted back in 2020 didn't have a comeback at all last year no news on the comeback now um, so when he ended up you know getting put into my teenage girl I was kind of hoping that she would have made it especially since you know since she was in a group she has the experience and stuff like that and um and plus I thought that she was doing pretty good as like as the performances were going and as the show was progressing so um I was kind of su surprised that she didn't make it but at the same time I kind of figured because um I don't know, I just feel like they were just like, you know, out of the 14, only 7, you know, I definitely had a small feeling that she wasn't going to make it for some reason, I can't really explain why, but, um, yeah, kind of sad for her, um, since she's so talented, I hope that, um, her company and Bodo Pass can, like, somehow overcome whatever's going on, but, yeah, so that's my thoughts on her. Alright, so I'm just gonna, like, put these two together since um, I kind of have the same feelings with them, but Yuyun and Yoonjung, um, I both did not, um, both of them I did not really like. Um, Yoonjung appeared in a lot of the videos and performances I was reacting to on my channel, and you guys probably know if you saw them that I was not a huge fan of her. I did not think that she was that good vocally. Her rapping, I feel like, was a little bit forced, and um, it just didn't really like how she was like singing-wise, but performance-wise, like for for dancing, she was really good. And you know, at the time, I definitely did not think that she was gonna make it into lineup. And I didn't really think that she should, in my opinion. But towards the end, of the, for the final episode, she did really good with performance, and you could tell she improved. So I was so so then like when I she didn't get announced into the final lineup, I, I was very sad for her, and um, I felt bad for like just like I feel like shitting on her. Like obviously, um. 
I thought that she was talented, but just like not good vocally and stuff like that. And I just felt so bad because she did really well for the final and she still just didn't make it so but she definitely had some tough moments in the show but she 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 put up a good fight and she made it i feel like to a pretty decent spot so hopefully she can just improve more because she's already improved she just needs to improve a little bit more and then i can see her being an awesome performer an idol um for yu Yan, the same thing i didn't really like uh the way that she just like I don't know, I just didn't really like the way she performed and everything. I didn't think that she really had the stage presence. I thought that she was a good um, like singer, rapper, and a dancer. I just didn't think she had the stage presence. Um, but then once again, she did really good in the final, just like Yoon Jung. And once again, I felt very depressed that she didn't make it. So these two girls, you know, even though I wasn't a huge fan of them, for majority of the show, they did do really well in the end, and I hope that they can somehow debut in the future. Alright, so the final girl that I'm gonna talk about, um, I know that there's a couple more girls that were in the final, obviously, since there's 14, but I'm only gonna talk about um, one more, and that is Hyunhee. I think that she got robbed. Honestly, I think that she got robbed, because I think that out of majority of grade three i thought that she was really the only one that stood out to me and i don't know i just felt like she was doing pretty decent towards the end of the show and i just i don't know i'm i'm kind of salty that she didn't make it into the final lineup if i have to be honest it just something just doesn't feel right you know i don't know who would have like who i you know i'm not gonna say who doesn't like or who like sh she should have like been in place of in the group in the final lineup um, or anything like that. But I definitely think that she should have made at least top five. I don't know what happens, like I said, but I don't know. I just I just feel like she got robbed out of out of like the seven girls that did make it. I thought that she definitely got robbed the most, and I don't know. It just. I don't know, it just makes me really salty for some reason, but yeah, so, um, once again, hope that she can debut just like the other girls that didn't make it, I hope that she can debut soon and, um, just be in a good group and everything and just show off her, like, talent because I thought that she was pretty good, so, but, yeah. Alright guys, so that was basically all of my thoughts. I know that there were a couple girls that I didn't talk about, um, within the final 14, but, um, the four that I did talk about that didn't make it into the lineup I wanted to talk about, um, just to share my thoughts on them, and, um, yeah, like I said, Classy overall I think is a pretty okay lineup, it's a pretty decent lineup, um, I think all of the girls are pretty talented and everything, um, like I said, man, that Jimin just shocked me that she got first, it just really did, I did not see that one coming, not saying that she didn't deserve it, just saying that I was very shocked, <laughs> but, um, I'm excited for their debut, like I said, I've been watching their live performances of Surprise, and they've been killing it, so I'm excited, and I just saw that, they're, that they signed a seven-year contract, so they're gonna be here for a while, and I'm excited for that, but, um, that's why I that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to put a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow my social media links in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.